Hello and welcome to my very basic review of the Triumph Scrambler 900, previously known as the Street Scrambler. Um, so I have the Gold Line Edition. I'm um, lucky enough to work at Triumph, so I get quite a good discount off of new, uh, brand new motorbikes. Uh, so when I was looking to get a bike, um, my first bike. I was, it was between this and the Trident 660, mainly because I was scared of getting a 900cc engine as my first bike, um, but I'm so glad that I did just bite the bullet and go for it because I definitely prefer the way this one looks and that's all I had to go off really because I wasn't able to test ride one. Um, so I really love this bike, I, I think it's so comfy, I think the seat height is perfect for me. The seat height is 790mm, I'm 5'7 um, and I can touch the floor with flat feet um, so I can twist up which is always very helpful. The one thing I will say that I wasn't expecting, even though I kind of knew it was going to be heavy, uh, was is the weight of it. Um, I've dropped it a couple of times but I feel like it's just one of them things that you have to learn from. Um, so I've been practicing techniques and, and ways <laughs> that prevent me from dropping it and that touch wood that seems to have helped so far um, but other than that I'm really enjoying it. Um, there is a couple of different modes, um, there's off-road mode and wet mode which I haven't actually tried yet um, although I did ride in a torrential downpour last weekend. Um, so you can see on the video there that I can touch the, the ground and that was quite a big slope as well. One thing I did notice when I first got the bike, I didn't have any uh, riding jeans at this point so that might have been part of the problem but I noticed the pipes were burning the inside of my thighs uh, but since then I've got proper Kevlar jeans and uh, I've been sitting a bit further back as well so that's made it a lot more. I know this hasn't been a very technical review, I'm not a very technical girl, um, but I just wanted to give the perspective from a female and a new rider and um, basically just tell you what I like and dislike about this bike. So price wise I think is around ten and a half thousand for the gold line edition, nine and a half for any standard paint colours, which I think is quite expensive compared to the competitors out there but I was lucky enough to get a very good discount through work um, so I'm very happy with my choice and I highly recommend this bike to new riders just be wary of the weight um, other than that I think it's an amazing bike I, I really love it um, I'm gonna be sad to give it back after the lease but I'm gonna move on to something different I think I hope you've enjoyed the video and this is some footage from a couple of weeks ago uh, where me and my friend were in the Peak District. There's another video on that on my channel if you want to have a look.